hello friends this is Ashirvad here and in this video I am going to explain you uh, one very important concept called type conversion and type casting okay so let us begin now one thing straight away you have to uh, remember whenever we are talking about type casting or type conversion that it happens only among compatible types okay you always have to remember this now let me explain what does it actually mean when we are talking about uh, compatible types we can say numbers like we have byte or we have short int long double float okay so all these things are by nature numbers okay so you can say these are compatible types uh, what that means is is we can convert or we can simply apply type conversion or type casting on any of these okay but when we are talking about incompatible types we are talking about uh, for example let's say string and int or string and double or simply string and any numeric type now this whole thing you can say is incompatible for either type conversion or type casting that is you cannot have type conversion or type casting implemented between string and int between string and double and simply between string and any numeric type and also vice versa okay so one thing is for sure that in order to implement type conversion or type casting the types must be compatible okay so uh, actually this topic can uh, go to a distance but uh, we are trying to simplify the concept so that we, you people can understand uh, this concept in a simple manner so in this particular video we are concentrating on these types okay when we are talking about type conversion and type casting there may be more compatible types in which you can implement uh, this type of conversion but you don't know them yet so just remember that uh, you can implement type conversion or type casting among numbers only for now so uh, to explain this thing in a better way let me explain you this thing okay now this is simply a size chart which you people already know if you have uh, gone through my previous videos on uh, java programming these are the available uh, data types in java for storing numbers okay so the smallest is byte which actually occupies one byte of memory then we have short which is larger than byte then we have int which is larger than short then float type actually occupies the same amount of memory as what you can see four bytes here four bytes here but float is considered as larger than int why because it can accommodate the decimal point with it uh, with the value that it stores okay so we always consider float as larger than int remember that the next type long is obviously larger than double uh, larger larger than float as it occupies eight bytes of memory and uh, here again double although it occupies 
8 bytes of memory which is same as long but double is considered as larger than long because again double can accommodate decimal point values so whenever we are uh, implementing typecasting or type conversion always remember the size differences between the types you are converting okay so let me actually clarify this thing in detail if we are talking about type conversion okay we are not talking about typecasting for now type con conversion says that you can store a smaller value in a larger type of variable and you don't have to do anything to achieve this that is it can be done or it will be done automatically and you can understand it uh, simply as you can put this box of byte inside this box of short okay as byte is smaller than short or I can simply say if all these are boxes for example you can accommodate a smaller box as this inside any of these boxes which are larger than this box of byte what it means is you can store byte type of value in a short type of variable in an in type of variable in a float type of variable in a long type of variable and in a double type of variable without doing anything else okay so let me actually write uh, a program on it so i have this program on my screen so let me actually declare a byte type of variable b and let it have a value 10 and i have to declare another variable of some larger type for example int int i now what i want is i want to store this value of b in i so what do i write i is equal to b now obviously b is of different type and i is of different type but as you can see the netbeans id shows no error because the compiler or the java system or in fact the netbean system has automatically converted the value of b in the larger type i okay so this is type conversion so let me actually print the value on screen system dot out dot println or you can also use uh, j option pane dot show message dialog not a problem uh, I. so the value that i should have on my screen when i run the program is 10 okay so you can say the value of b has successfully uh, been converted into int and we didn't do anything automatic we didn't do anything to convert it the compiler itself converted uh, the value and this thing is called type conversion sometimes it is also called as automatic type conversion or implicit type conversion all these terms are same remember that moving on let's take one more example can i store an in type of value in a double type of variable okay uh, what i'm saying is simply can you accommodate this box which is int inside this box yes you can and similarly you can uh, actually write a program for this to implement let me delete all these things uh, int i is equal to 100 for example and a double type of variable d is empty right now and i want to store the value of i in d so to do it what do i write d is equal to i 
should there be any error no again the reason is same the i is of int type which means it is smaller than the type of d which is double so the conversion happens automatically now you can think of the value which uh, is going to come on your screen as the output uh, when i print the value of d so let's check it show message dialog null comma d so what value should i have on my screen it is 100.0 as you can see which clearly indicates that uh, the compiler has automatically converted the int value into a double type of value by putting a decimal point of course okay and a zero after it so i hope the concept of type conversion is clear to you and same way you can have this byte type of value stored in any of the other types you can store short type of value in any of these types except byte as byte is smaller than short okay so this is type conversion now let us talk about type casting now type casting is the exact opposite of what we have discussed so far in type conversion type casting is a process or uh, type casting is implemented i should say in the case where you are willing to accommodate a larger type of value in a smaller type of variable so for example what if i want to store this int box what if i want to accommodate this int box inside uh, this this byte box now as you can see it's not possible so the only option i have to achieve this uh, this conversion is that i have to cut down this box int box as per the size of the box in which i want to accommodate it okay uh, simply saying you have to convert int into byte and this conversion is not going to happen automatically this time okay why because int is larger than uh, byte so let's try out this thing with an example so i have a for example a byte type of variable b which has nothing in it and i have an int type of variable i and for example it has 50 in it so what i want is i want to store this value 50 in b so what do you write to achieve this b is equal to i now straight away netbeans shows a red line under it which says incompatible types <laughs> well the types are compatible but the problem is you cannot accommodate a larger value in a smaller type okay so you have to apply typecasting here which which simply means you have to forcefully convert the value of i into byte and the way of doing it is quite simple and you remember the technique that right after this equal to sign inside the brackets you write the data type in which you want to convert okay so in this example i want to convert into byte okay so i will write byte so this thing will tell compiler that convert the value of i in byte and then after convert converting it give it to b and as you can see the error is gone and i can now uh, execute this program let me actually show it on screen j option pane dot show message dialog null comma b so what value should i have on my screen 50 which is of course the value of uh, the uh, your uh, uh, byte type of variable b 
so i hope you have understood type casting as well let's take one more example let me delete everything and this time i want to declare a double type of variable which has a value suppose 100.23 and an integer variable i now what if i want to store the value of d in i to do it you will write this and it won't work as you can see uh, sorry you want to store the value of d in i you will be writing i is equal to d so again you can see the error is coming because d is larger than int okay so again the same thing you have to do which is type casting and what do you do to achieve this right after this equal to sign inside the brackets you specify the type in which you want to convert so i want to convert into int so i will write int here and as you can see the error is gone but uh, there is one interesting point you have to understand in this particular example that when i print the value of i on screen what value should i get okay it can never be 100.23 you know that because integers cannot accommodate decimal point values so although the conversion is successful but there is a data loss okay in programming terminology we call it data loss so when you run the program you will see only the integer part as what you can see on my screen the point two three is gone and uh, this is always there with typecasting okay so if you have to understand typecasting well you can say uh, typecasting works but uh, there is a possible data loss when you uh, achieve it okay so i hope the concepts are clear to you in short uh, you have to remember this thing that a smaller value can directly be stored in a larger type without doing any conversion from your side the conversion will be uh, happening automatically and the compiler itself will do it but when you have to accommodate a larger value in a smaller type then you have to forcefully convert it and this process is called as typecasting so i hope all the concepts are clear to you okay do like and subscribe if you have liked the content thank you so much for watching